You had a vacation this summer for two months. What was it like to be off the field? Well, it, it was rather enjoyable. I know she probably disappointed a lot of fans, but for me, the first three weeks were enjoyable. After that, it got real old. What was it like having Frank home, Kathy? I thoroughly enjoyed it. What did you do to pass the time? Well, we have three daughters at home, um, a two-and-a-half-year-old daughter and twin girls at a year old. And um, they keep us plenty busy. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. Plus, we had, we had in-laws coming out of the years. That's so that was, that's that's that was really fun. I wanted to get rid of my... I wonder, in uh, just talking about off-season, they're talking to Frank before the show about some of the problems that players and, and their families have. And in particular, in the last week or so, Gary Templeton of the St. Louis Cardinals uh, walked off the field, made obscene gestures, not to Haywood and Buddy, but to other people, and uh, ended up under psychiatric care. I, I wonder... Frank, if the pressure on players and their families today because of the great money is more now than it used to be before? Well, I don't know if that's the case, uh, Upton. I think that, you know, there's pressures involved in, in everyday living that a lot of people can't cope with, and there's pressures involved in the game that if you're not mentally on top of it, it's going to get you down. So I don't think it's any, you know, greater than, let's say, you know, the person sitting out in the audience. Uh, some of us handle it a little better than others. Let me ask you about something. Jimmy Pearsall was quoted, uh, I guess last week, as saying something pretty disparaging about why women marry baseball players for money, for the prestige. How did you feel about that? Well, I, I, I assume some women do too. I don't know. I certainly didn't. <laughs> what can I say? He's really ugly that, anyway. Yeah, you know, it's tough. So, but no. to jumble everyone together in that kind of generality, doesn't that bother you? Well, you've got to, just let me say this, you've got to consider the source. Oh. You were known, Frank, as a pretty swinging bachelor before you got married. What was it that made you decide to settle down? Well, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I ran that gamut, and it, uh, you know, it was fun. I was something that, you know, I'm sure everybody would like to live. But it, uh, it got old for me, and plus, you know, I met, I didn't really meet anybody like Kathy for those years. So as soon as, uh, as soon as that hit, I said, well, I'm ready. <laughs> Is there something special, though? I mean, to be the wife of a player, I know that women flock around Frank and all of that. Does that ever bother you? No, I think, uh, I think when you first marry a ball player, yeah, you, I mean, you have to confront that. You know? um, yeah, I think it bothers everyone in the beginning, but then you just kind of get used to it. And it's just part of their job. And if, if they take it to heart, then yeah, you've got problems. But you know, if the ball player just considers that women like men are fans, then um, you know. If they handle it well, you're going to handle it well. Kathy, I, I wonder if, uh, in talking about that situation Eileen brought up, uh, as we know, uh, Cindy Garvey and Steve Garvey, two of America's most beautiful couple, at least by television, uh, just filed for divorce. And, and one of the leading things to the divorce was a story in Inside Sports where she more or less called all America's boy all sorts of names and really was kind of disparaging. Does that type of position put a ball player's wife in really a bad light with the player and, and with the team itself? I would tend to think so. Um, I think, I, you know, I have my personal opinion about it, but um, I think Cindy has went a little overboard in that, you know, you don't tell a, a total stranger, and who this writer was to her, obviously, a total stranger, you don't go into depth about your marriage, especially your sex life. I mean, you know, you don't need to have your best friend half the time. Well, you're in the spotlight <laughs> not that often is not a good idea. What's going to happen? What do you think Haywood Sullivan will do once Frank becomes a free agent in November, Upton? Well, of course, Haywood's working on a very important thing right now. He's going to have the Rolling Stones come to the souvenir shop tonight to play instead of the team. <laughs> but other than that, I think the biggest problem here and ask, I want to ask Frank and, and Kathy about it is a player today must negotiate his contract in public view. And whether it's having a good or bad season, the public knows about it, the front office, everybody does. I think the problem with the Red Sox right now is, and including Jerry Remy, who's having a great year, is that they don't want to pay the big money for the good ball players. And I think it's going to be a problem. Frank? Well, you know, they have, they have a business to run, but it's important for them to sign Jerry Remy. Um, as far as myself goes, I'm not having the greatest year. So at this point in time, I really don't know what's going to happen. Would you both like to stay in Boston? We would love to stay in Boston. Uh, speaking for Kathy, we've talked about it. We love the area. We love the people. It's just a matter of uh, how badly do they want us to stay in Boston. Well, you know, we we're not all... asking the world, but we would love we'll to stay. We'll be watching and see what happens. Thank you so much for joining us, Kathy. Nice to see you. Bye. Up and down.